Hello, welcome back. The topic today is obesity and arthritis. How does obesity cause osteoarthritis or uh, degeneration of the joints? The, the last videos we have discussed more about the obesity, its treatments and its complications of obesity. One of the side effects of the complications of obesity, we are stressed more on the uh, wear and tear of the joints, especially the knee joints or arthritis of the knee joint. Uh, how does it happen? Uh, simply, in a normal person with a normal weight, suppose he walks, for each steps, almost half kg of pressure is on the weight bearing joints. So there is a pressure when we walk, when we stand, there is always pressure on the joints, especially the weight bearing joints. Suppose a person gains 1 kg body weight, there is almost 4 kg of pressure on the weight bearing joints, especially the knee joints. 1 kg increases, causes 4 kg pressure on the knee joints. So this pressure over a period of, uh, 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 over a uh, long period causes degeneration of the uh, weight bearing joint, especially the knee joint, causing damage to the uh, knee joint. Especially, see, any joint has two bones. In a, for example, in a knee joint, we have upper and lower bones. They have a cap. Usually, joints will have a cap. But with the increasing weight, the gap reduces because of the pressure. And both the bone touches and cause friction, going for degeneration, causing damage to the joint. This is how uh, increasing weight physically or by pressure causes uh, arthritis in the joints number one number two any obese people will have a lot of fat the peculiar uh, character of the fat cell is it produces a state of low inflammation a state of uh, inflammatory process is always in the body so the inflammatory cells or the inflammatory proteins they are the root cause even we are told about uh, one of the reason why obese people have a lot of cancer infected all these things fall because of the inflammatory cells these inflammatory cells can affect the joints. So the weight bearing joints, especially the hip, knee or ankle, they can go for pain and damage. Uh, not only the weight bearing joints, even the obese people, even the small joints in the hand, these are non, -bearing, non weight bearing joints. So the joints in the hand, they can go for damage because of the inflammatory cells. And these will be evident uh, with you know uh, obese people, knee pain, they always most of the time they have a diabetes, insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, heart disease. So all because of obesity related disease all mainly because of the inflammatory cells. And not only that, because of this weight bearing joints, see the weight bearing joints are very important for not even, uh, uh, you know, for everything. We have, when we stand, it put, uh, the, uh, they put pressure on the weight bearing joint, can cause pain. So they have a limitation or disability, you know, it can lead into this. A limitation of their movements. This is one part. Suppose already a person is having uh, a pain or degeneration in one joint, they use the other leg or the other knee too much, so they can also go for compensatory degeneration causing arthritis in that leg. This is one part. The second part, suppose uh, a obese person, because of his uh, nature or by his profession, is doing a lot of uh, you know climbing mountain climbing or staircase climbing or you know uh, squatting too much of squatting so these things can aggravate at least five times more chances for these people to get degenerative arthritis or osteoarthritis of their joints very early even at the young age they can get that and they may need sometimes you know surgery so keep your weight under control or under the normal range keep yourself fit and save your weight bearing joints because weight bearing joints are very important for your ambulation suppose if it affects your mobility you have to depend you, you you yourself will force yourself to depend on others so stay healthy stay fit thank you